hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm going to be making my ultimate misha's kicked up meatloaf today <laughs> yes it's a few steps into this dish and lots of ingredients but it's definitely worth it and this will be the juiciest most moist meatloaf you've ever had i have a bunch of vegetables here i have my peppers I'm using two kinds of onions, scallions and onions, regular, you know, white or yellow onions. I have about two tablespoons of fresh thyme and two different colors of peppers. I have my bread, two slices of bread that I chopped really small. That's right here. And I'm soaking it in about a quarter cup of milk. I also have four strips of bacon that I cooked up and chopped up really, really small. And now I'm just going to start by sauteing my vegetables and let it cool down and then we're going to put it all together. Okay, I'm going to add my vegetables in. I think I'm going to stop there. And I'm just going to saute these for about 10 minutes until they soften up. And I'm going to add salt and pepper to this. Okay, so halfway through the cooking time, I'm going to add a heaping tablespoon of chopped garlic. And I'm also going to grate about a teaspoon of fresh ginger in here. Yes, I'm going there. <laughs> yeah, it's coming out. If you don't have this um, thing, this grater mandolin thing, you could definitely just fine dice your, gar your um, ginger and put it in here. Make sure you scrape it off the back. Stir this up. Another five minutes and then let it cool down all the way cool down okay so while i'm waiting on the mixture to cool off i'm going to put the glaze together i'm going to put about a third cup i'm not using a measuring cup but i'm pretty sure a third cup of apricot jam equal parts ketchup so a third cup of each then you're going to get your ginger again start grating and some pepper tons and tons of fresh black pepper then I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in here put it on the stove and bring it up to a boil and let it all marry together now we're gonna put the meatloaf together preheat your oven to 325 degrees I'm not cooking this meatloaf on a high temperature because it's gonna ruin it <laughs> just do it <laughs> finally time to put this together the ground beef finally made its appearance. <laughs> the vegetables we cooked up earlier. I'm gonna add my soaked bread that I soaked in the milk to my onion mixture. I'm doing this so it could be evenly distributed when I add it to my beef. You don't wanna mix your beef forever. Then I'm going to add the four strips of bacon, mix this in. Now I'm going to take my beef and I'm going to put the mixture all in here. This is three pounds, by the way, and it's 80-20. If you want to put all the way lean, that's fine too because it's going to be so much mo moisture in your meatloaf. It's, it's not even going to matter. And then I'm going to add my one beaten egg, and now i got to season this up. Put your salt. I'm only going to add maybe a half a teaspoon of salt to mine because of the bacon, and I also salted my onion mixture but it's totally up to you make sure you taste your food also i'm going to put some garlic powder in here then i'm going to put some grill mates chipotle roasted garlic seasoning in here and then i'm going to add some more fresh thyme to my mix you just can never have enough herbs <laughs> anyway i'm going to mix this up and then we're going to move on to the next step okay guys here comes the fun part so just to say a little prayer for me and hope that this comes out. Thank you. So I put my meatloaf into a loaf pan, but I'm not going to bake it in this loaf pan. I want to turn it out on my baking sheet. So you just gonna <laughs> do it like that <laughs> and say your prayer and pray it comes out. <laughs> Let me see. Oh no. Okay. There we go. Perfect. See how pretty she is? Perfectly molded. Yes. But anyway, so now I'm going to put this in the oven for about 50 minutes. 
yeah, five zero fifty minutes. And then we're gonna start painting with our glaze. Okay, so 30 minutes into the cooking, I'm gonna put my first layer of my glaze that we mixed up earlier. Be gentle with it. You don't want it to fall apart. You're gonna put it all over. Cover the entire meatloaf. Okay, so I sliced up my meatloaf, put it on a plate with some scallions, and I made some pan roasted potatoes and some olive oil butter fresh thyme and salt and pepper so try this recipe out let me know what you think comment below like share subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye